Hi there, welcome back to the English class and welcome to Unit 6 Reading B. We have a wonderful poem here, Or Will the Dreamer Wake? In our previous chapter, we read about how to conserve the environment. We also spoke how important biodiversity is in our lives. Don't think that if a particular species of animal disappears from Earth, it doesn't affect us. As I told you, even if a particular strain of virus or bacteria disappears from Earth, it alters plant life, it alters rain-forming clouds. If something so minute can make such a big difference, imagine if an entire species of animal is, goes extinct. What happens is, a predator will lo lose its prey, it will lose its food, and what will it do? It will try to find an alternative source of food. And when food patterns change, pathogens, viruses, bacteria, fungi, they go into places where they were not supposed to go. Why do you think diseases like COVID-19 are rampant today? That's because we have hurt our biodiversity. We have made the wild lose its balance. They are searching for alternate sources of survival and thus it's creating havoc for us humans. We have to realize that biodiversity is harmful and it might even ex make us go extinct, leave alone the animals. Yes? So let's pay attention to this thought-provoking poem about how animals are going extinct. Or will the dreamer wake? Who's the dreamer here? It's us. We are living in a false world, dreaming that everything's going fine, but a lot is going wrong. Biodiversity. Look at that. Different types of life around us. Each important. Out in the east, the jungle listens. What is the jungle listening right now? The tigress, plaintive, growls in pain. There's a tigress growling in pain. Why? The great trees hear her breathing, shaking. Inside her still, new life awaits. A mother about to give birth to cubs. These cubs could be the last ones ever to freely live and roam and mate. Do you know deforestation, wiping out forests, what's happening because of that? The number of tigers are dwindling in the world from lakhs to thousands. And this mother tiger giving birth to cubs, it would be so sad if that is the last litter of cubs on earth. We wouldn't have tigers anymore to adorn the forests. Our grandchild knows the tiger never. 20, 30 years down, down the timeline, our grandchildren will say, oh, what creature is this? Is that a tiger? I've never seen one. Or will the dream awake? Or can we stop it now and not deprive our grandchildren of this beautiful, majestic animal? Save the forests. Far in the north, the white bear snuffles, that is, it's sniffing. Down in her lair, in her hideout, the gleaming snow. So this is the Antarctic, Arctic, North Pole. She waits for all the life she's making, another polar bear about to give birth to her pups. Outside the crashing glaciers grow. Pay attention here. Why are the glaciers crashing? Global warming. The polar bears live in the Arctic Circle. Because of us, the temperature, because of humans and all the things, the factories that we're building, the temperature of the Earth is increasing day by day. And this is resulting in the polar caps melting. And who lives there? The polar bears. If the glaciers crash and melt, what will happen to those polar bears? What will happen to those pups? who've just come out of their mother's womb. These cubs could be the last cubs ever to freely live and roam and mate. 
our grandchild knows the white bear never again our grandchild our grandchildren are going to ask us where is this lovely white creature that i see in pictures and books why isn't it no more or will the dreamer wake shall we wake up and prevent global warming let's save our ice caps the polar regions there in the west the song thrush warbles that's the sound of a bird the song thrush she weaves her nest to hold her clutch she's preparing a home to lay eggs a long wait now to find a partner it finds a partner the eggs are laid there are not much what does that mean there are such few number of song thrush birds in the world that even though she lays eggs all her life they're not enough to bring back the song thrush bird back into the forests to bring back its melodious voice into the forests these chicks could be the last ones ever again they are going extinct the last to fly and sing and mate our grandchild knows the song thrush never our children will ask us where are those sweet sounds of birds that i read in poems how come i don't hear them in real life or will the dreamer wake let's wake up let's save trees let's save forests let's save the ice caps let's save the homes of all these creatures deep in the ocean south the whale swims her song of birthing fills the seas they say when a whale is about to give birth it resonates across kilometers thousands of creatures wait the moment the solemn birth that day will see solemn is a word that is used for a special ceremony a whale give birth to a baby give gives birth to a baby once in a long time it doesn't give birth every year so imagine how rare is a baby whale in the ocean this child could sing the final whale song why we are polluting our oceans all the trash in our world is dumped into the ocean there are oil spills in the ocean it's killing all the life in our oceans let's save them or that could be the last whale baby to ever sing a song in the ocean the last to make the oceans shake our grandchild never hears its mystery he will wonder was there ever such a majestic animal in the oceans or will the dreamer wake shall we wake up and keep our oceans clean let's save our turtles let's save our ocean life here in the center who's here in the center the forest the ice caps the trees the oceans who's in the center we here in the center four directions gather the path ahead leads up or down so now we are at a crossroads we can either decide to go up and improve and save our world or go down and let everything perish is this our last bright new world birthing all these forms of life that are appearing is this the last are we even bothered about letting it continue this could be a last true moment in fact most of you are not aware we are almost on the brink of saving our environment the other day i saw a beautiful painting drawn by a child there was a man holding an umbrella being blown away by the wind and that umbrella looked like our globe you see what the child is trying to say that the very thing that protects us from heat rain the very thing that protects us is getting blown away and what are we doing we are unable to hold on to it believe me it is getting late we have to realize this could be our last true moment to save our environment knowing the truth our choices make remember i always keep saying we always can make a choice use less plastic recycle help the environment and do not 
do not interfere with the wild. The wild needs its own space. Let's stick to our own space. Our grandchild asks. This grandchild, 30 years later, is going to ask us this question. That was the moment, that day in 2020, that was the moment and did the dream awake. Didn't you all rise from your seat and take a decision to make a change to prevent from all of this happening? So just before we wind up, I'd like to tell you what the author, the poet, is trying to say to us through this poem. Animals are going extinct, says Medora Chevalier. She is a poet, she is a dancer, and she has written so many thought-provoking poems on social justice, about our environment, about our world. Animals are going extinct in our forest. Our polar regions are melting. What will happen to the life there if there is no ice? Our oceans are getting polluted and trees are being felled. If you lose your home, where would you go? Think about the nature around us. Think about the creatures whose homes we are stealing. All this is leading to an imbalance on Earth. Biodiversity is no more diverse. The variety that we boast about is dwindling. We are losing species day by day. Let's not wait for the day our grandchildren ask us, why did you not realize then? So many times it happens that when all goes wrong, we think and repent. But now, this is not the time to do that. There is no time for repentance, only action. Why did you not do anything about it then? Will you have an answer if they ask you this question? Why have I been deprived of such beauty? Yes? Let's not just give dreams to our grandchildren. Let's give them reality as beautiful as a dream. So let's think about biodiversity. Let's think about our environment and respect religions that teach you to pray to nature. Why do you think there are people who fold their hands and pay respects to the planets, to the trees, to animals? That's because when you give respect, you have love. And when you have love, you will take care. And most of all, when would you respect something when you know its importance? Yes? So let's remember the importance of environment around us and always join hands and support people who are doing something for the betterment of the environment. So I'll leave you with those thoughts. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.